How you doing everyone? It's your old pal Jim here and we are uh, here with a new game called The Precinct. Now this is a demo so this shouldn't take too long I imagine but um, I have some history with this type of game and I felt as though I should keep looking for this kind of game. Now you may or may not remember but once upon a time ago I played a game called Beat Cop. Uh, I played it for two videos on my Let's Play channel here. And while I was indifferent and kind of like, eh, yeah, maybe it'll get better. When I recorded the third video, I wasn't able to even upload it because that game, I feel as though was misleading in its advertising. It said it, it would like the, the dev, I assume, who put the, the, the screen at the very beginning saying, you remember those cop shows from like the 70s and 80s? Well, this game is a love letter to them and et cetera, et cetera. And it's like, okay, cool. You go in with that expectation. And guys, I recorded those videos like two, three years ago. And up until very recently, I made a whole review on my other review channel and I'll link it below. It's harping about how much of a, just, I was, I just felt misled. Because it wasn't based on 80s and 70s cop shows. Maybe it was a source of inspiration for it, sure. But the 70s and 80s cop shows that I remember was nothing like Beat Cop was. Beat Cop was not even satirical. It didn't really feel satirical. It was mean-spirited. Um, it did a v number on bringing back how uh, minorities were treated back in the day. And probably even worse, I fear. And nobody in the game was likable in any way, shape, or form. I mean, I had this discussion with friends on many occasions. When you create a game, any sort of media, a story, a movie, a TV show, one of the main objectives that you have is to make the main character or characters likable to a degree. Or at the very least, interesting enough to follow. You want people to fire up whatever it is you made and be like, all right, I want to follow this people or this group of people to find out more about them. And I try, and that's one of the reasons why I put up with Beat Cop for as long as I did, because I wanted to see if there was anything more to the game. But in all intents and purposes, it just felt like it, it was straight up was just, it is what it, it is what it is. It is a morbidly... It was a morbid window into what how things used to be back in the day with no filter and everyone was an asshole and there was nobody to root for. I mean, ideally, you think you would have wanted to root for the guy who was framed and, and, and uh, demoted all the way down to beat cop from being a detective. But I couldn't even, you know, root for that guy. The, the, the last straw in that game was um, doing like a side quest where the main character was like, all right, find this little girl's cat. Okay. You know, and, and you strong arm the mafia into letting you know where the cat is. They weren't didn't do anything. They just don't want to tell him. And then when you finally bring the cat back to like the little girl, um, the, the, oh, the, the officer, um, basically is like, nope, your cat's gone. It's dead forever. And like makes the little girl cry. And then it's like, oh, I was just kidding. Here's the cat. And it's like, you don't have no, you have no option there. There's no nuance to it. The thing about like, and, and look, there are all sorts of good and bad things about cops. There's no denying in reality, but when you're looking, when you're working in fiction, at least from what we're used to seeing, there's nuance that's been established with cop dramas, law enforcement dramas and stuff like that. It's just not like the cops are good. Bad guys are bad. I mean, a good cop show or law enforcement show has layers to it that lets you understand the viewpoints of both sides and is just it's more than that a prime example is a show that i love called barney miller and yeah i mean it, for the most part a lot of these shows are like cop positive shows but at the very least it's layered to a degree where it lets you see like it lets you have fun. It lets you get to know the characters. It lets you see that bad guys are more than just being bad guys. Sometimes they're just people going through stuff. And, and you know, anyway, I could go on forever and a half. But that's one of the reasons why when I saw this, it was recommended by a friend of mine, Bird. Thank you, Bird. Uh, it, 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 I'm hoping. Like, literally, the description of it was... 
GTA, but if you're a cop. Now, that can mean many things. And, but the trailer seems to indicate that, like, oh, the, you're, where, you're doing your dad proud wearing that uniform. Whether or not this does a good job of balance, and most important to me as someone who used to enjoy the kind of shows that I used to enjoy, have nuance in it, well... I mean, if it manages to do that, then I'm getting this game when I have a chance. But for right now, it recommended a controller. I don't know what for, but Steam was literally like, get your controller out. So that's what I got. Um, yeah, let's, uh, well, let, let's check. Uh, I'm going to do a little, make sure things are okay here. Yeah, let's do it. That's a little siren. I don't know if you guys, ah, no, that's the window. Uh... Me, move me, move me. There, a little, little, ah, little siren. <laughs> On the little loading screen. Oh, of course it freezes. No, 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 there we go. Mew, mew. That's, that's adorable. All right, let me move myself back. Oh, I can't move myself back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to point that out. That was a, that's a cute little loading icon there. Uh, there we go. Ah. Interesting. Love the opening. Welcome to Averno City. It may look peaceful from here, but trust me, it's rotten to the bone. That's where we come in, Averno's finest. We swore an oath to protect this city, to look out for the citizens walking those streets below. There's bad guys, and there's good guys, and then there's us, all balancing on a knife edge, fighting each other just to survive. Interesting. fight, we're losing. And everybody knows it. We're understaffed, underpaid, and overworked. Worse than that, we got targets on our backs, and every low-life punk and thug thinks they can take aim. Heck, a few of us might even deserve those targets. Not all of Averno's finest are that fine. We got our fair share of rot, too. What good is an oath of honor if you've got no honor to betray? But me, I believe in the badge chunk of metal means something and hey some days the good guys come out on top but most days most days not so much all the while the fight rages on the lucky ones get a flag and a plaque the unlucky ones get a flag and a 21 gun salute why do we do it truth is for some of us it's all we know but for others it's in our blood all right. I'm impressed with the opening. The opening gives me hope. Let's see if it can stick the landing. And they remain at large. Chandler, Sayers, you're covering downtown. Keep them peeled. These guys are no joke. You got a bus. All right. I know you're dying to get out there. Can't wait. But before you all charge into the blue, I want to introduce you to our newest tender lamb fresh out of the academy. Bah. Where's Bo Peep when you need her? Rude. I could tell you where she was last night. This officer graduated from the academy at the top of his class. Yeah, that and 50 cents will get you a cup of coffee. And Nick <laughs> Cordell Jr. What? No way. Will obviously have some big shoes to fill. Jesus, what the? Seriously? They assigned him here? Kowalski, if I may. I don't have to tell anyone in here about the late Chief Cordell, his stellar record, the respect you had for him, his untimely death. I especially don't have to tell Recruit Officer Cordell, who's lived with it every day of the last five years. But there is one thing I do want to remind you of. Every single one of you took an oath to protect this city, its residents, and your fellow brothers in blue. That's what matters. I don't care what your last name is, who your daddy was, or who you hang out with on your day off. Our worth comes from what we do, 
not who we know. I want you to welcome Officer Cordell, but I'm not asking you to take it easy on him. On it. Or hard on him. <laughs> He's a cop. Just like you. Just like me. We're the ones out there making the hard choices. And those choices are what make us who we are. And Cordell, you're going to have to learn the streets and the precinct the same way these mooks did. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Crystal, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, officers. Watch, Commander. Appreciated, Chief. Sergeant Kelly? Yeah, boss? The Rook's with you. I pulled the last one. Why do you think I'm giving you this one? <laughs> because I did something in a past life. You did something. I'll alert the media. Uh. All right, squad. <laughs> Let's get out there and make Averno City proud. Yes, ma'am. Time to pound pavement. Come on, Rook. Let's go for a drive. All right. Already, this is so much better than Beat Cop. Like you get the ribbing and you get like the teehee and you know the the you know one of the one of the boys sort of thing, but you know this feels more in line to what I expect out of like the Heat of the Night or uh, um, Hill City Blues, you know that sort of thing. This is great and also really happy with the number of uh, female officers. Like even though the she female watch commander, that's really cool. Like um. I'm, I'm really digging this so far. Now what do I do? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, pro that, that's why they wanted me to be in a controller. Sprint? <laughs> there you go. I uh, guess we better earn our paychecks. Oh. Oh, right. Oh, you were we were blue. Okay, got it. Hooray, I have a walking function. Leave the precinct. All right. I have a feeling the, the 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 person that's taking me under their wing has a familiar voice. I think it's like the same voice actor who did uh well what's 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 the game called? Like we are the police, I think. Very familiar. Sit down dog breath. Oh okay. Welcome to the ACPD, kid. Time for our first mission. Sustenance, but uh, you can drive. My hips been acting up lately. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the fellas. They like to act tough, but that's just because they don't have my natural good looks and winning personality. <clears throat> okay, that's fair enough. Also, look, lots of lots of uh, bystanders and citizens, like in the other game. I, I appreciate that. Very, it feels very alive. I should probably get in here. Hold a drive. All right. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I bet you learn all kinds of fancy driving at the academy, but for now, let's just take it slow and steady. Don't want to scratch the paint job on your first day. Swing by the hot dog stand in Chinatown. There's a parking bay there. Cool. Also, driving mechanics seem very interesting. Pretty cool. Wow, and it looks really good, too. I'm really impressed with this game so far. Yes, and you got that beat cop music, or like the era kind of lo-fi 80s music. And I don't have to feel bad about liking it, because it's not 100% terrible. All right, let's turn here. Whee! That's not a hot dog stand. Good job, rookie. Time for some chow. Is that a hot dog stand? I don't know what that. Uh, oh, there. Oh, yeah. No, what do you know? I keep expecting the worst. Let's eat. Ah, tube steak. Breakfast of champions. How'd you take yours, kid? Ooh, choices. The works. The works. A maximalist. I can respect that. What's the damage, <laughs> Fareed? Leo, my friend. For you, no charge. Fareed, you old softy. You earn that tip every time, don't you? Ah, breathe it in, kid. Best part of the day. Besides, you can't patrol on an empty stomach. You know, your old man liked his dogs, too. Ah, of course you do. <laughs> we came up through the academy together. Took different paths when we got on the force, though. He wasn't gonna let anything get in his way. And me, well, let's just say, water finds its level. And my level is, uh, easy mode. That's fair. Uh oh. Units, bank robbery in progress. 
Mercer ACB Bank on Mercer Street. Shots fired. Uh oh ah, Christ on a crutch. Another beautiful moment ruined. Oh, well. That's what they're paying us for, right? Central, this is Unit 84. Responding code 3. 10484. Be advised. Suspects are heavily armed. Approach with caution. All right. When responding to an emergency, activate your lights and sirens. Uh, oh. Okay, kid. You wanted the real deal? This is it. Oh, neat. Here we go. I like how also the the time the 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 time era is a little ambiguous. Like the like the car obviously feels 90s, but it's it feels also somewhat more modern. I don't know what it is. But here we go. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so Left trigger is aim, right trigger is shoot, left bumper is reload, B is cover. Okay. Now remember, they get one warning. If they don't throw them down, we take them down. Get ready. Police, freeze! Drop your weapon! Well, oh, I guess oh, that's it. Light them up. I really appreciate. Wowie. I really. This is Bree Bookman in the ACTV Eye in the Sky, the number one news chopper in Averno City. We're downtown where police are engaged in a fierce shootout following yet another bank robbery. It's not clear yet whether this is the notorious August gang or. Hold on. There's movement at the back of the building. More criminals coming out. They're boarding a vehicle. It's a dark van and it's. Oh my goodness! Keep it tuned to ACTV, folks. Looks like we're in for a police pursuit. Oh, are we? I like the gap, boot. Whoop! Close it. Non-lethal force. Got it. It's on the upper right. Your instructions. Whoa! 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 Okay. Call for backup when you need it. Uh, right bumper. Request support. Support tokens are earned by performing completely or oh, competently. Staying close with the substance pursuit when you have enough. Okay, all right. Do I have enough? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Ooh. Oh man. Okay, okay, okay. I have to take a moment here. I really like what I'm seeing so far. First off, the emphasis on telling people to like throw it down. You know, throw your weapons down. Because, you know, it, it's good. I like the fact that it's not like shoot first and ask questions later. We're giving people the chance to come in peacefully. I like that. Secondly, um, what I just did there, the whole request for backup thing, I really like that. That's one of the things that I really like about these kind of games. There was an old game in the 90s, uh, early 2000s, called Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. And one of the one of the things that you got to do in that game was to call for backup. Now, I don't know how the backup's gonna work, we're gonna see, but you were able to call for assistance, like a, a, a spike strip, a roadblock, or just another unit to come and uh, uh, follow you around in case you need assistance. And the thing about that game that I really liked about that proce uh, process was, oh, the, the, the track was just this big circle. And the racer's goal was to race in that circle X amount of times uh, for X amount of laps. And so all of the units that were available to you are there on the map. There's like four or five of them. And so you can either switch to another car or select one of the cars on your little mini map and say, hey, you come with me and they'll follow you. Or you can select specific units to ask for a roadblock and stuff like that. So it was very intricate. So I like to see that once again in a game like this. I don't know if it's going to operate in the same way, but... Um, yeah, really, really, really excited about this. Let's let's go ahead and um, and I, re oops, drop my controller. Appreciate the slow mode so let you choose. Let's do spike strip. Oh yeah, good job. Oh, whoa. 
Yeah, if a suspect is endangering lives, you are authorized to use lethal force. Be careful not to harm civilians. That's what I like to hear. I don't know how... Oh, careful, guys. Don't run into the street. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is nuts. Also, how is that... That van got spikes. How is it moving so fast? Nice one. Whoa. Oh, ho, ho. Gee whiz, this is amazing. Trying. This is what? Oh, oh. Target is down. Oh, they're still shot at us. Oh, he gave up. Uh, always give suspects an opportunity to surrender peacefully by issuing a voice order. When the resistance meter is fully depleted, they will surrender. Determine, oh, determined suspects may not respond to voice orders. So X is a voice order. All right. Nice, 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 nice. 84 to Central. We got a 10 15. Pursuit has been terminated. Copy that, 84. All units stand down. I repeat, stand down. Whew, you did good, kid. Not everyone handles a pursuit like that on their first day. <laughs> I guess we're gonna escort suspect back to the PC. Alright. My god! What a what a demo. Also my poor squad car. It it got it got it got borked a little bit. But you know what? comes with the job sorry about that oh th thanks for the help I hope you guys are okay in there my gosh I I'm digging this game I am digging 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 this game all right remove suspect from vehicle oh oh you got it thank you cool any vac vacancies oh Book suspect at the front desk. Let's go. Over here. Come on, Cordell. There's someone I want you to meet. Oh, we're done already? Nice. My snitch is out of town. Um... Oh, go to the evidence room. Okay. Where's the evidence room? That's lock up. Oh, right. <laughs> I'm being told where it is. I am. I'm digging this game. Digging this game. Digging it. Digging it. Digging it. Mean Gene. What's today's major malfunction? Oh, the usual misfiled evidence, sloppy dockets, illegible handwriting, contaminated evidence. I'm surprised some of your friends here made it out of grade school. Rude. Cordell, meet Eugene. Our evidence guy. Eugene Papadopoulos, at your service. Did Kelly try the old, you drive my hip hurts routine on you yet? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Thought so. He doesn't tend to lift a finger unless there's a gun drawn or a chance he might get pizza. Anyway, my job is to know where everything is. Which basically means tracking down whatever you humps, misfile, mislabel, or otherwise misplace. Uh, we do our best. Oh, I'm well aware of this unit's, uh limitations anyway when you collect any evidence you come see me i'll make sure it's safe you're a peach gene never change wasn't planning on it all right kid you did good today but that won't mean a fart in a windstorm tomorrow <laughs> i'm out of here <laughs> i'll see you in the morning unless i die in my sleep god that sounds pretty good doesn't it no it doesn't <laughs> oh and your shift at the desk okay <laughs> Oh, can I talk to anyone? I'm curious. Hats and bats last night. I don't even know what that means. Oh, I can't go everywhere. Apparently I can't go in there. There's an upstairs. Oh, the roof. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. There's going to be helicopters at some point, I feel. 
Helicopters. But yeah, I gotta return to the precinct, right? Sorry, I got distracted. This is a really good game. I like it. It it's 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 shaping up to be everything that I ever wanted out of a cop game, honestly. You just do your job, you protect the city, you give crooks the opportunity to surrender, that kind of stuff. Like, that's all I wanted. <laughs> Nice transition. I don't know how long this demo is. Okay. Morning, Cortell. Tidy work yesterday. Keep that up and you'll be leaving Kelly in the dust before he even has time to retire. Love you too, Kowalski. <laughs> I know we dropped you right into the thick of it on your first day, but fundamentals are important too. What she means to say is that parking tickets are how the city pays the bills. Uh -huh. Come on, Kelly, you know that isn't true. This city hasn't paid its bills in years. Regardless, today is going to be about old-fashioned police work. You're going to walk a beat and maybe straighten out a little bit of this bent old city. Neat. Check your handbook for the violations to look out for. Uh... Nope. Ah. Oh, wow, really GTA-esque. But what is, uh, my handbook? Handbook. Oh, ha, ah, bumpers when you're in your select menu. Um, okay, where's my violations? Shift logs, uh, incidents, introduction, infractions? There's force, no force. Oh, graffiti vandalism, littering. Parking violation. Obstructing a fire hydrant opposes the flow of traffic too close to a crossing on a sidewalk. No, uh, no, a no part in a no parking zone. Parking meter expired, blinks red. No force. Yeah, of course, no force. <laughs> Jesus. This is what I want to see. Jeez. And then crimes, aggravated burglary, non lethal force, assault, non lethal force. Attacking an officer, lethal force. Attacking an officer unarmed, non-lethal force. Burglary, non-lethal force. Carjacking, restraining force. Crime spree, ooh. Multiple crimes committed by suspect in a short period of time. The call-out panel will update to reflect the most serious crime in the spree. Authorized force, restraining force. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, drug deal. Uh, driving under the influence. Wow, okay, this is, all right. All right. Let's go clean up the streets. <laughs> I really like this game. I'm really digging and digging and dagging dug in this game. Honestly. Whoop. There are six types of parking violations. Oh, okay. Here we go. That's this is specifically what I'm looking for. Obstructing a fire hydrant. Oh, I read this already. Opposing. Yeah. I saw that. Okay, cool. So is there anywhere in particular that we have to go? Or. Oh, follow Kelly. Got it. Oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't realize I was buried Let's in go people. Let's find some parking violations. There are six different parking violations to look for. Blocking a hydrant, parking in the opposite direction of traffic, too close to a crossing, or on the sidewalk. Oh, and of course, parking in the no parking zone. Oh, and don't forget expired parking meters. Just be sure a vehicle is parked illegally before issuing a ticket. You can't take it back. What's that noise? How do I issue a parking ticket? Oh. Uh, fire hydrant, right? Yep. Good job. The handbook shows all the violation types. Come on, let's check some parking meters. <laughs> this is so People cool. People are allowed to use parking bays until the meter expires. When you inspect the meter, zero minutes remaining means it has expired. It's worth checking the meters at bays that are in use. There's a lot of people who don't like to pay their dues these days. Ah, nice. Ooh. Is it expired? Give Sorry. A ticket. Sorry. I bumped into that person a little too much. I, uh, a meter expired. Hey, you're getting the hang of this ticketing. <laughs> I love it. 
This is this this is You'll come across different crimes as you walk your beat. You could be issuing parking tickets one minute and chasing an armed thug the next. My advice be prepared for anything. This is exactly what I wanted Beat Cop to be. This is this right here. Everything. Everything so far that I've seen, experienced, and played. This is what I wanted Beat Cop. Look at this. Oh. Write them up. <laughs> Potential parking violation. Nice. All right. So this is on the sidewalk, quite literally. You're a natural. Oh yeah. Let's carry on. Got eyes on a vandal. Go handle it, kid. Oh. Spray can bandits in action. Aha! Each time you deal with, uh, each crime you deal with will be assigned a level of authorized force. You must not exceed. Aha! Must not be exceeded. The levels are no force, restraining force, non-lethal force, or lethal force. Got it. Received. Oh. Okay. Um and then just go ahead and arrest you. Yay! I love that! Oh, I should have read rights. Um. Uh. Issue a fine to Vandal. Issue fine. Excellent. The ah. handbook will help you stick to the rules. There we go. Nice! We should check for any more spray can bandits nearby. Graffiti is a type of vandalism, and only warrants a fine. Picasso there surrendered as soon as he saw us. So we didn't need to arrest him. That said, some criminals like to try their luck. They might throw a few punches, or they might take off. Both of those are arrestable offenses. Oh, well, yeah. Even if the initial crime only warrants a fine. Once a perp commits an arrestable crime, you gotta make the arrest. That's more than fair. Surely we're not gonna run into something like that in the alley that we're currently in right now. Uh oh. There's one. You know what to do. Central, be advised of property vandalism in our vicinity. Roger. Oh! Ah, you ain't nothing without the that gun. Uh, your baton is non lethal. Hey, non lethal weapons, yes! To defend against attackers, you can block attacks until your stamina is depleted. Select baton with that. Uh, block an attack. Got it. Right. Get your baton out, partner. Ah. <laughs> Aye. Oh, sorry. Oh, friendly fire. Friendly fire. Hold still, damn it. Oh, I see. It's a mini game. You got this, partner. Oh, got him. <laughs> that was that was nice, I think. All right, interaction. Resolve. Yeah, I got to arrest him. Yeah, background check, assault and vandalism. If it wasn't for the assault... Call an escort unit to take our suspect to the precinct. Uh, arrested suspects must be escorted to the precinct and be processed at the front desk. You may either escort them yourself or call in an escort unit. Uh, uh, how I go? Escort unit. Police. <laughs> how do I do it? You didn't tell me how to do it. Um... No. Um. Hold it. Um. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Oh, you can look at your shift. Your shift information. Uh, policing. No. Interactions. Arrest. Check ID. Issue. Talk. Other actions. Call ambulance. Uh. How do I do that, though? Take it easy. 
Game. Game. Game, you didn't tell me what button to press. Ooh. I didn't mean to. I was just trying to. Control 1039. All right. First of all, I appreciate that. I actually do. That's nice. Don't break the law. That's that's. I appreciate that. But 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 secondly, I'm like, what what what, what do I what do I do here? I mean, I gotta. In progress. All right. Wait there. Wait there. Take it easy. Don't make it worse for yourself. Oh. Get your baton out, partner. Got him. Stop resisting. All right, resolve. And I gotta arrest that suspect. Arrest suspect. Call an escort unit to take our suspect to the oh. precinct. Oh, escort options. <laughs> that, yeah, that was my own fault. Didn't think to. Most interactions, it looks like I can just walk up to the person in question and then, uh, yeah. Um, did we call? Shouldn't we wait? We're just going to leave him here? Let's walk back to the station, but keep our eyes peeled. <laughs> I want to make sure you get... Deal with this, Mope, and then we'll call it a day. Oh. Suspects may offer resistance indicated by the blue meter above their head, which can be reduced by vocal orders and other actions. When the, the, when the meter is empty, the suspect is compliant and may be restrained. Get after it. Oh, wait, wait. I got sprint. How do I sprint? There we go. Don't make it worse for yourself. Hey, you. Oh, my gosh. How do I... Ha, ha, ha. Oh, there we go. Had to do the sprint button. <laughs> Thank you. Low-level arrests are great for your stats, partner. Oh. Thank you. Probable cause for arrest. I like how it tells you right here. Yeah. Book the suspect, and the desk officer will take custody. Oh, good. It's right behind the... Wow. Quit struggling. We got you. We got you. Where's the front desk? Ah, it's over there. <laughs> I really like this game. This is great. I missed the door. Over here. Over here. Ignore my bad sense of direction. Look at that. Oh, I didn't. I got to read the rights. Got a game. You got to make me sure I read the rights. God dang it. And my shift at the desk. How long is this demo? <laughs> this demo is pretty hefty. I might genuinely have to not uh, end the video before the demo. Yeah, no, I think I will, and I think I'll just play the rest of it on my own if it doesn't end here, because this is this is good. Report to the chief's office, okay. I can't save, though. So, no, I can't save. There's no save. I don't, I don't, let's just go to the chief's office. I'm actually having too much of a good time. This is going to be a long one. In any case, we're going to need to keep this quiet. Uh -oh. Even here in the shop. This is not for general consumption. Got it. Ah, uh, Cordell. Come in. I want you to meet Detectives Lee and Ferreira, our top investigators working the organized crime beat. Heard about your baptism by fire at the bank the other day. Yeah. Log 200 more like that and you'll be a real Averno cop. I don't know. Look at him. I think he's got it in his bones. It's good to meet you, Cordell. Your pop was one of my heroes. That'll be all, gentlemen. So, Cordell, it seems your work at the bank the other day turned up a promising lead. We discovered a print on a dropped weapon. It matched someone who wasn't even at the scene. A Mr. Michael McKenzie, rich guy, lives in a mansion on the north side. Tactical paid him a visit a few minutes ago, but it seems he was tipped off. Soon as they breached, he sped off out the back. 
We're scrambling an aerial unit to track the vehicle now. Excuse me, sir. Bird is fueled, ready for wheels up in two. Martinez, this is Officer Cordell. He'll be with you on this operation. A rookie, sir? Is this the right time for... It's the right time for you to obey orders, flight officer. Ooh. Yes, sir. See you up top, Cordell. We gotta move. I authorized you on this mission because I was impressed by your performance at the bank, Cordell. Don't make me regret this decision. Now get up there. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, right. Ooh. I'm going, I'm going. Let's go, Rook. We don't got all day. Also, I love the fact that the pilot is a hot lady with a jumpsuit. Yay. <laughs> Run. Ran out of stamina. I'll be right there. I was just up here saying, oh boy, helicopters, baby. Oh, I'm flying. Vehicle was last seen in. Throttle, turn, strafe. All right. Whoa. There we go. Simple enough uh, controls. Suspect vehicle identified in Fenwick. There he is. Whoa, he is moving. Hawk 12, maintain position behind target vehicle. You know how to work a spotlight? Keep it glued to the perp and call in backup as you need it. Uh, okay. Um. Steady. Ah, uh, and then right bumper to request support. Oh, I don't yet. I have to get more tokens. There we go. This is so cool. <laughs> Low, it's a lot of vehicle last spotted in Litchfield. A lot of fucking uh, uh, big chance you're taking with sending a rookie to fly the copter. Jesus. Units in pursuit. Stinger is deployed. Target that vehicle. Oh, he was smart. This is so cool. Spike strip is ready. Backup is standing by. Oh, geez. Doing it. Hawk 12, the central aerial pursuit has been terminated. Hawk 12, you are clear to return to command. Nice. That is really cool. I like that. How do I land? Oh. <laughs> Yay. Police work, Cordell. Let's hope he gives us something solid to go on before the August gang strikes again. All right, if this, ah, uh, yes. Okay, have you, yes. Glad to hear it, officer. You showed real promise out there. All right, yeah, no, good, good, good. I'm glad I played it all the way through. Um, yes, yes, yes. Yes, this is everything I wanted out of a cop game, honestly. It, 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 the combination of like small things like, um, uh, you know, parking meters and minor crimes and the emphasis 
on following the rules on booking people the way you should be booking them. Not everything requires force and you will get penalized for not doing that. And that's great. The big difference between this and Beat Cop is that this, even though I never advertised it, this feels like the old cop shows that I used to watch as a kid. This is taking me back to the days of Barney Miller, to the days of Hill Street Blues, the, the, the heat of the night. Um, all those neat uh, chips, uh, Dragnet. This is all those shows. This is what I wanted out of a game to be able to go in and be a good cop because in reality, it's more complicated than that. But at least in here, in this game, I know I could fire it up and I have the opportunity and the chance to be someone that serves and protects because I know in reality, I'm not going to be able to. So it's nice to be able to do that, to live that and not have to worry about my guy making a little girl cry and doing an insane amount of racial profiling. It's nice and, and it's very, very vibrant and diverse and it's got good music, the gameplay mechanics. I was into it. I wanted to play it all the way through. I was on the border of just keep, I was just going to keep playing until it stopped. I didn't, wasn't worried about the time, but yeah, this is good. This is good. And I'm looking forward to this on its release. I'm going to play it all the way through and expect a review, a full review on it when I do really excited about this game but if you liked uh, what i did here and you want to see more of me playing games feel free to uh, subscribe to the channel and click that bell to let you know when the latest video comes out uh, uh but yeah otherwise thank you so much for watching this one and remember as always stay safe and keep on gaming